And a warm welcome to this talk. Now, we are starting to hear some reports from various parts of the world about declining birth rates in certain countries and certain demographics. And you don't need me to outline the potential immense ramifications of that. But what I want to look at today is where we have specific data, and that is data from the Czech Republic. And it's in this paper here, of which I will put the link. Now, I've actually been talking to uh, Dr. Vibika Manika about this, who is a friend of the channel, one of the leading medical researchers in Denmark, and she's put this paper together. Let me just give you a few of the headlines to see if you want to watch. Now, this is the paper here, Rates of Successful Conceptions. According to COVID-19 vaccination status data from the Czech Republic. Um, now, this kind of data is not available in the United Kingdom. As far as I know, it's not available in the United States. But the data that's collected on both successful conceptions, basically conceptions that go through to a live birth nine months later, and COVID vaccine status are actually available in the National Archive. And this is a study of 1.3 million women between the ages of 18 and 39. So it's, it's not a sample, it's basically the whole population of that group of women. And basically, Vibeke tells me that birth rates are about 30% lower in vaccinated versus unvaccinated. And that's data from 1.3 million women. Now, we do need to break this down a bit to make sense. Total fertility rate in the Czech Republic, 2021, 2022 and 2023. And all this data is given births per thousand women. Um, 1.83 in 2021, 1.62 in 2022, 1.45 in 2023. So we see a clear reduction in overall uh, birth rate but of course what we want to know is what specifically is behind this now here's the graphic here that's got the key data to it um, let me just go to um, that one right so what we've got here is up here we've got the uh, the number of vaccinations and we see that this did actually uh, this leveled off uh, this is this is 2021 here so this 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 is 2021 this is 2022. So we see it leveled off in 2023. So we see we're collecting data over quite a long period of time. Now, this is the important point here. The red line is all births. So this is all births. So it's number of successful conceptions per thousand women. And we can see it's broken down to the uh, in the months. So January, February 2021. So we've got six there and we go down to somewhat less than six. So, so that red line there is the all births there, all births on the red line going through to 2023. Now, the blue line that we see up here, this is the number of uh, successful conceptions resulting in live births in all women, in, uh, in women that weren't vaccinated. So the red line is all women. The blue line is women that were not vaccinated. So that is women there that were not vaccinated. Whereas the green line, way below, is women that were vaccinated. So we can see a huge difference. And if we look at the difference between these two lines, at some point we see it's really quite significant, um, quite big gaps and although that gap, the gap, so if, if I just sort of colour in, this is the, so they're, they're all births there, and that's uh, vaccinated women there. So if we colour in the difference between the not vaccinated and the vaccinated, we see that it's, it's actually huge throughout 2021. 20, uh, Gets a bit smaller in 2022, uh, but it does persist, and it does persist on into 2023. So that is the, the difference. And uh, this is a, concern, a concerning difference, no question about that in my mind at all. 
So, a few points. Decline birth rates have been reported in many countries following the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, th 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 this is now known and is becoming a concern. I I've heard quite a few reports that I haven't been able to follow through yet because I'm only me, I haven't got a team, but um, some of them are really quite concerning. Uh, and have been linked with economic instability, uh, social inequality and... Uh, related social restrictions in the in the pandemic it concerns me when people jump to sociological ex explanations i'm a biologist i think we should look for the biological explanations first before we look to social um sociological explanations or even psychological explanations um Ad adverse effects of COVID-19 vaccinations on human menstrual characteristics have been observed. Well, we've known this for a long, long time, haven't we? But limited data are available on the relationship between vaccination status and birth rates. So, Vibica and a team, we used nationwide data from the Czech Republic to examine rates of successful conception. And a successful conception is one that goes through to a live birth nine months later. For women, either vaccinated or unvaccinated. So clearly we've got the two groups. We've got the group that are vaccinated. And we've got the group that are unvaccinated. And what Vibic has done is compare the two, obviously. Compare this one with this one. Compare this one with that one. Obvious, obvious thing to do. As I say, we can't do it in the UK because we don't have the vaccination status of the population in anything like the form we would need to do a similar analysis, as I understand the current statistics. Uh, I'm sure regulators are scurrying to correct their error as we speak. Or not. Before successful conceptions, right. So data from January 2021 to December 2023. So it's actually a 27-month period we collected data over. Uh, monthly COVID-19 vaccination and birth rate for women aged 18 to 39 in the Czech Republic, all of it. Numbers of successful conceptions were done per month. Now, this is quite important. It's done monthly because clearly, uh, as, as we saw from this graphic here, um, the number of uh, vaccinated women uh, changed over time but it was done per month. So there, that, that's why this is, this, is all, this is all in months here, of course. So they were able to, uh, to break that down. So that is fully accounted for. Um, Pre-conception vaccinated or unvaccinated women. So again, we've got the two groups, um, vaccinated or unvaccinated before conception. Pfizer, Moderna, mRNA vaccines comprise 96% of all vaccines. So again, my concern here is, is this declining birth rate um, associated with potentially caused by mRNA vaccines? I think most of the vaccines in Denmark were actually fi Pfizer, but uh, uh, anyway, 96% were Pfizer or uh, Moderna. And the results of the, uh, the problems of the mRNA vaccines we've talked about many times, of course, on, the, on this channel. Now, um, results, so we've got 1.3 million women aged 18 to 39. Yeah, there'll be a few births below that. Yeah, there'll be a few births after that. Um, but this is what they counted. This, of course, is the vast majority of childbearing uh, women in the Czech Republic. The proportion of COVID-19 vaccinated women increased until it reached a steady state around 70% by the end of 2021, as we could clearly see in this graph. Here, it levels off at 2021, along there, fairly level. Um, during the entire study period, successful conceptions per 1,000 women were considered considerably lower for women who were vaccinated, as we've seen, compared to those who were unvaccinated. For example, at the end of June 2021, 39% of women had been vaccinated, those vaccinated before successful conceptions, 7%. So that is a big difference. That is a big difference. 32% difference. Concerning. Those vaccinated before successful conception, 
contributed only 7% of all. It should have been 39%, shouldn't it? 39% of all women have been vaccinated. Those vaccinated before successful conception, only 7% of all successful conceptions. Furthermore, successful uh, conception rates for the unvaccinated group were generally much lower than expected based on their proportion of the total population. So um, if these women were representative of the total population, the, uh, the, uh, the vaccinated women, we should have expected a much higher a much higher birth rate. Uh, throughout 2022, successful uh, conception rates remained about 1.5 times higher for women that were unvaccinated. So it's like 50% difference. One, well, 1.5 times higher for women that were unvaccinated before successful conception compared to those that were vaccinated before so unvaccinated before successful con conception compared to those that were vaccinated before successful conception ongoing difference and again we see that we saw that clearly in this graphic we saw this huge difference here in uh, 2021 huge difference between the blue line remember the blue line is births in women that were not vaccinated the green line is births in women that were vaccinated the red line was all but we see that that difference persists even when ongoing vaccination rates were lower. Um, does this indicate some ongoing issue, damage, whatever you want to call it? It could do. It could do. Right, conclusions. In the Czech Republic, successful conception rates were substantially lower for women vaccinated against COVID-19 before successful conception than those who were not vaccinated. Non-vaccinated women having more babies. Now, the paper uh, is a scientific paper. It's well written and uh, is the claims are very uh, conservative, it has to be said. Um these hypothesis generating and preliminary results call for further studies of the potential influence of COVID-19 vaccination on human fecundability, that's the number of children per month, and fertility. The, 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 the implications here, the mind is sort of spinning with it uh, as we speak. Because we know about the Czech Republic, but we don't know about many other countries where the data is kept from scientists such as Dr. Manica. Unfortunately, the potential influence on reproductive health was not assessed in the randomised pre-authorisation trials of COVID-19 vaccines. Should have been, shouldn't it? Would have thought that's a fairly obvious thing to do, but the potential influence simply wasn't done. It was basically... As far as I know, it was ignored. The Czech Republic is one of few countries where nationwide birth and available where nationwide birth are available for women who were vaccinated or unvaccinated. So we've got the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated data in the Czech Republic, and we see a huge difference. Uh, now, it is possible that more women who wish to become pregnant, i.e., achieve successful conception, chose not to be vaccinated, and or more women did not plan to become pregnant, opted for vaccination. So, in other words, it's difficult to say this is causal. Um, so, then it's important to look for mechanisms, plausible mechanisms. Vaccination may be associated with menstrual pain, changes in menstrual flow and cycle length, and of course, the endometrium could be affected, the endometrium being the lining of the womb, the lining of the uterus. And direct effects of uh, Pfizer on the ovarian follicle were reported recently. Uh, the other thing that came to my mind was um, spike protein circulating to the ovaries. Um, potentially damaging ovarian tissue. Uh, spike protein being produced in the... Uh, the, well, most of the endometrium sheds every month, of course, but spike protein produced in the myometrium, the middle part of the uterus, um, is a possible mechanism. You see, is it that these women are producing less ovum? Possibly some new data says that uh, due to damage to the ovaries. Um, is it that um, 
less implantation is occurring. Um, is there a problem with the passage of sperm? Less implantation, less implantation is probably more likely. So uh, fertilization typically occurs high in the fallopian tube. It migrates down into the endometrium where implantation takes place. Are pregnancies being lost at an early stage? That's possible if there was some immunological reaction as a result of uh, an immunological shift caused by vaccination. There's, there's a whole range of plausible mechanisms. Now, I've just made a, a direct effect on of Pfizer on the ovarian follicle were reported recently. So the follicle is... Um, so the ovum here develops inside the uh, these follicles and it's released. Now, this is from my physiology notes books <laughs> where re female reproduction is covered in not a great deal of detail, but it's covered. Uh, if you're interested in this physiology and the more detail of the layout of the um, uterus, etc., uh, check out the uh, free downloads. Here's the site here, actually. Um, so you can download uh, PDFs. I think that's the Shroud of Turin download there. You can download all of these posters I put up, and you can, uh, yeah, or you can download all the posters or individual posters. Uh, your one-time ebook download link, so you can download the um, the two books are um, th there's, um, there's these ones you can download. Uh, this is the physiology one. This is the pathophysiology one on diseases. And this is the physiology one that I've taken this diagram for on female reproduction. Uh, uh, that one there. So they're now available in PDF, completely free. I put them into the public domain, so you can download those absolutely free with my compliments. Of course, if you are in a position to make a donation, <laughs> it helps our work around the world. Um, feel free if you would like to. If not, uh, please download them anyway and learn much more about the fascinating physiology of the body, albeit somewhat simplistic models, because that's all human beings understand. But anyway, um, so that's if you want more detail on that. So basically, where we have the data in the Czech Republic, we find out that vaccinated women are having less babies than unvaccinated women. And if that doesn't cause indescribable anxiety in regulators around the world, I would suggest they read this paper. If they don't feel able to act on it, then they might consider their position, potentially resign, and get someone in who is prepared to analyse this data. Hopefully Jay Bhattacharya and uh, JFK not JFK, RFK are analysing uh, this now or delegating people to analyse it. But it is uh, remarkably concerning. The global implications, you don't need me to spell out. We'll leave that there. Um, uncomfortable video, but that's the data from the Czech Republic as, as recorded in that uh, scientific publication. Thank you for watching.